Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are joined by my friend, Danielle Canada, Associate Editor of Bossup, and she's here to give us the inside scoop on everything Hollywood. Yes. Woo, we got a lot to cover today. We have so much to talk about today. My God. Yes. Well, we might as well just jump right on in. Let's go in. Matt Barnes yes. and Gloria Govan. Yes. So, Matt Barnes and Gloria Govan, you would think that they are in a better place now. Yes. Matt has been playing it up like they're good and they're co-parenting. That's what I thought. Yes, but according to Gloria, it's not really what it seems. She's saying that he is absolutely not invited to her wedding to Derek Fisher. If you can remember, Derek and Matt were teammates. Yes. And Matt drove 90 miles to get into an altercation with Derek <laughs> because he was dating Gloria. <laughs> but he said they were fine. But Gloria said not so. She said if he sends her a wedding gift, she's going to send it right back. She doesn't want it. And on top wow. of that, they have legal trouble going on right now. He is suing her um, for embezzlement. Her and her family, he's claiming that they put up some fraudulent paperwork and bought a house in his name, and then she's suing him for defamation of character. They just have a ton going Surely on. Surely she did not do that. Uh, it's a bit much. I mean, it's kind of far-fetched. And it doesn't but... make sense for her to forge his name. Right. Like, that, I mean, I'm sure her credit was good, or maybe she could have got her mom or somebody exactly. else. To... It was, it's all just a huge mess with them. Right yeah, now. yeah, well, you know, whatever. <laughs> all right, Michael B. Jordan and yes. also Donald Glover. What's yes. happening between them? So there are some rumblings that for Black Panther 2, you might see both of them back on the big screen. So, Donald Glover was, of course, not in the first one. He's from Atlanta. But right. there are rumblings that he might play a villain in this new film. He might be a villain named Achibi. Really? And he is described as kind of like the Joker in Batman. So, they're looking at him for that role, allegedly. And then also, even though Michael B. Jordan's character, Killmonger, died in the first one, spoiler, um, they might bring him back. If you remember in the comic books, if you read them, mm -hmm. Killmonger came back to life. Mm -hmm. So uh, Michael B. Jordan is very close to Ryan Coogler, and yeah. the Metro UK is reporting that they might bring him back for the new one. I, although I saw that he died, I didn't really believe. Like you I, never know what people. happened after, like uh, right. beyond the cliff. You, you never know, knew. He, he said, "Oh, put me in the ocean like my ancestors," but we didn't see it. So mm. people are wondering if he could come back for this new one. But we did see the royal wedding. We, oh. And I tell you, people are still talking about Idris yes. Elba's fiance. Yeah, we we saw outfit. some things and we saw that Gucci down outfit at the royal wedding. Yeah. Uh, Sabrina Dyer who is a beautiful, very smart Somali woman who he is planning to marry. Mm -hmm. She's also a publicist. Uh, she came and head to toe Gucci. Yes. She had a Gucci purse, she had Gucci shoes, she had yes. a Gucci cardigan and she got dragged for it. People said that she looked a little tacky. Yeah. She looked a little thrifty is what they said. Um, but Idris defended her. As he, he should. He basically said that she looks smashing darling. He said F the haters. Mm. They don't know what they're talking about. What, right. did, what did you think about that outfit? Um, I did. I wasn't here for it. Yeah, I was not know. because, um, you know, just do a little bit. You know, yeah. I mean, not unless she's a walking advertiser, right. uh, walking advertisement for Gucci, and they paid her to do that. Right. Then I would say okay. But as an outfit, I think that was overdone. Maybe she should have bit... just did one piece. I think she was kind of trying to be subtle. She's a very voluptuous That's woman. That's nothing about that subtle girl. <laughs> I mm -mm. think she was trying to cover up a little bit mm. and not wear something so form fitting. Yes. But it kind of backfired. It was a mm. bit much. Well, let's talk a little bit about voluptuous, as you just said. Yes. Kay Michelle, and what's going on with everything with her? I know she was here. She said that she yes. recently did her um, surgery and everything yes. with uh, with all the reductions. Yes. What's happening? So she has had a reduction of her backside. Um, mm -hmm. Back in January, she had all the foreign objects removed from her body. Yes. So now she's saying she's 100% silicone free, and she's very, very proud of her new figure. She, she looks said good. She looks great. She said she got to put on a dress for the first time, and she said she only needs one more surgery. She's having some reconstructive surgery wow. after having all that taken out. So they're going to give her a butt lift. Oh my God, that's just so much. Listen, yes. you don't want to go anywhere. We're going to come right back with more with Danielle. And I'll tell you, we got to find out why Nishi, Nisi Nash said that Karuchi is the most annoying person on earth. <laughs> Stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. My God. Yeah. The most. We are back right here at Sister Circle Live with associate editor of Boss of Dania Canada, and she's going to continue to tell us what is going on in Hollywood. Yes. Before yes. we went to break, we learned that Nisi Nash said that Karuchi was the most <laughs> annoying person on earth. Yes, yes. So Boss of recently hosted some previews for the new season of Claws, mm -hmm. and while there, we spoke with Nisi Nash, and she told us that Karuchi is the most annoying person on really? earth. But it's a joke. Basically, okay. Karuchi's like a little sister to her. So okay. she always says that about Karuchi. She says she's annoying, but she also said that she's doing a great job on Claude. Yes, she is. She's she holding is. her own on this cast. Uh, we also spoke with Karuchi, and she told us about Victor Cruz, who she's dating right Ooh, now. What did she say? And she said that they just work very well together. They said their relationship is easy breezy. Very so. good. And the she deserves that. And relationships should be easy exactly, breezy. Exactly. They should. Mm -hmm. Well, 
Jocelyn has a new relationship and yes. a new show yes. with a new network. Yes. My yes. God, tell us a little bit about that. So after leaving Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, she's coming back to TV with Jocelyn Takes Miami. But instead of being on VH1, she's on WeTV. Wow, that, yes. that's huge because that, that normally huge. never happens. Yes, so she's on WeTV. You know, at Boss What We Love, WeTV, our show is on there as well. Mm -hmm. So she's coming with Jocelyn Takes Miami. It's following her and her daughter, Bonnie Bella. It's going to be about her music career as well. Good for her. It's time mm -hmm. for her to get back to the music. She's great for reality TV. So yeah. I think people will definitely be watching that. Yeah. Well, I heard that there has been some reconciliation for Tiny and T.I. Could that be true? It, there might be some possible reconciliation there. As you can remember, T.I. and Tiny, they filed for divorce back in 2016. Yeah. But Tiny recently filed for a leave of absence for the divorce. So mm -hmm. basically, she's kind of pushing it off, pushing it to the side. Mm -hmm. And if you can remember last week when T.I. was arrested, mm -hmm. Tiny is the one who defended him Absolutely. and told security to let him in. Mm -hmm. So people are thinking that they might be getting back together. There might be a vow renewal coming up soon. And we would love that for them. They seem like, you know, a perfect match. It seems like they worked out their issues. Yeah, so. and they've been together for a really long time. Long I mean, they literally time. grew up together. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. So people are rooting for them. Our exclusive content editor, Jennifer Cunningham, is the one who pulled the court documents and found it out for <laughs> wait us. A minute, so. Wait a minute, pull the court documents. Pull, pull the Let's documents. Talk. <laughs> I know the people get the court documents. So you can have somebody working at we the court. Do. Like, well, how, how does so, that work? So we don't I have anyone working at, at the court. I was blog. <laughs> yeah. People, you can literally go down there and you can request paperwork and you can say, oh, is there is there something in here about uh, Clifford Harris? And My they will God. slide you. It gets public information. So you can request to be nosy. You, you can request to be nosy. Ooh. For a very small fee, you can get that information. My God. Well, Danielle, I love having you here <laughs> with me. Here. Yes, for more <laughs> for more of the scoop, please, please, please go to bossup.com for everything on social media as well. They know exactly what's going on.